Доброе утро. Good morning. Приятно быть вместе слушать слово Божье. It's pleasant to be together and to hear the word of God. То, что мы уже услышали, это так много для нас. What we've already heard, it's already so much. It's already a lot. Те свидетельства наталкивают нас на большие надежды на Бога. These testimonies they push us for a greater hope on God, a greater reliance on God. На большие ожидания от Бога. To have greater expectations from God. Эти эти чудо исцеления. These miracles, these healings. И чудо освобождения. And the miracle of deliverance. Они наталкивают на нас, наталкивают нас. They push us forward towards something even greater. And that's what I want to talk about. There's yet a greater miracle than healing. There's a greater miracle than, than deliverance. Than financial breakthrough. Or marriage happens. Even simply a blessed a family life, a blessed marriage. A great strong health. All of these things are, are great miracles from God, but there's yet a greater miracle. And that is the salvation of our soul and the salvation of people in general. Эти чуда нам просто доказывают, что и это чудо тоже возможно. And these miracles, they simply prove to us, they convince us that the, the greater miracle is possible as well. Я хочу говорить на такую тему uh, спасающий разговор. And I want to talk about a message that the title would be a um, a conversation that saves or a saving, saving talk. dialogue, saving talk. Как так, чтобы это самое большое чудо могло происходить, происходило? How, how, how can we make this greatest miracle to take place all the time? Неделю тому назад мы похоронили этого русского или украинского молодого парня. A week ago, we've buried this young Ukrainian uh, gentleman. He is only 20 years old. Uh, the problem that he had was a uh, average youth problem. The problem was that the, his motorcycle wouldn't stay on the rear tire. Пожилые люди, они не знают, что это за проблема. Our, uh, the, us older people, we might not be aware of what kind of problem that really is. Это очень большая проблема для молодежи, когда байк не стоит на заднее колесо. But that is a really big problem for the youth when their bike does not stay on the on the rear wheel. Это имеется в виду, когда переднее подрывается и ты на заднем. It's when you drive a, ride a motor, motorcycle in such a way where the front tire completely lifts up the ground and you simply ride on your rear tire. Молодые ребята наши, они не могут ехать, когда на двух колесах, на одном колесе ехать. Our dear, our dear young brothers, they, they simply can't, they simply can't ride on both wheels. They must have that one tire in the air. И они собрались, и как решить, собралось там их малость, и они, как решить эту проблему, что байк не встает на заднее колесо. And so they've, they've all gathered together to solve this problem. How do they solve a problem that their bike does not want to stay on the rear tire? И этот молодой, молодой брат, поставил этого, этого байка на заднее колесо. And this young brother actually got the bike or the, uh, the bike to stay on the не, rear wheel. Не, не получилось. But as in the process на, of being на, on the rear wheel на, на, на глазах у всех разбился просто и сразу же умер на, на, на месте. It didn't really work because on the eyes of all the other guys as everybody was watching he, he actually uh, rode that bike to his death. Uh, Добрая новость об этом парне, что он был христианином и свидетельство о нем как о, о хорошем, посвященном христианине. The good news out of all this is that he was a Christian young man and all the testimonies about him that he was a, a good Christian man. No. Even though, even then. 
Но это случилось на глазах у всех. This, this took place in front of everybody. Everybody was watching. Все подбежали. Everybody ran up to him. Ай, что случилось? And they said, oh no, what happened? Такая технология в мире. Ну, две секунды прокрутить время назад и пойти по-другому, и все, он живой. And with all the technology in the world, if only there was a way to take time and rewind it backwards for a few moments, and he would still be alive. Казалось бы, Решить эту проблему, время прокрутил назад, и чтобы он не подымал, на, не вставал на заднее колесо, и живой, перспективы, колледжи, образование, жизнь впереди. To solve this issue, simply you must rewind time backwards, and then have him choose a different path, that he would not ride his bike just on the rear wheel, and then everything would be different, his career, his destiny, college, his education, is all in front of him. Но невозможно. But it's impossible to do that. Большое чудо исцеления нашего тела. A great miracle is the healing of our bodies. Освобождение от демонов. Deliverance from demons. И даже воскресение из мертвых. And even res, uh, res, resurrection from the dead. Это есть такие случаи, когда люди воскресают из мертвых. There are those uh, testimonies or those times where people do resurrect, they come back from the dead. Но самое большое чудо. But the greatest miracle. Это спасение души. Is the salvation of a soul. Будет ли это так скоро, как у этого молодого парня? Will, uh, will everybody's time be as quickly as this young gentleman? Или позже? Or will it happen later? Нам всем этого не избежать. But all of us, every single one of us cannot escape the, that fact. И там вечность. And after that fact, we have eternity. За спасение людей пришел Иисус Христос на землю, чтобы принести жертву Господу за искупление. For the salvation of souls, Jesus Christ came to earth to bring a sacrifice to the Father to, to save these souls. Um, свидетельство людей, которым Бог дал такую благодать, что они умерли и возвратились назад к жизни, и побывали в аду, и они свидетельствуют следующее. And so some of the people that actually died and went into the eternity, they, they were actually in hell, but by God's grace, they were allowed to come back. And when they come back, they testify the following. And there's actually many, many, many of these type of testimonies. And the horror of hell that they tried to describe is actually impossible with words. Но самое страшное следующее. But the scariest thing about that is the next. Что несмотря на миллионы и миллиарды и триллиарды лет, выхода оттуда надежды нет. And the, the scariest thing is that after a million and billion and a trillion years go by, there is still no way out of that place. Нет надежды. There is no hope for a way out. Потому и цена за спасение and the cost or the price for salvation is that, that great. It's un unimaginable cost and price that was paid that God gave His only Son so that this greatest miracle salvation so that He would be able to give it to people. Моя мысль будет спасающий разговор. And so my message today, my thought to share with you is a so, so saving talk. Это записано, когда Христа принесли младенца в храм по обряду, и женщина пророчица Анна произнесла. Короткую, короткое слово записано о нем. Луки, третья глава, 37-38 стих. So, uh, Gospel of Luke, chapter 3, 30, 37 and 38. 36. 36. 36, 37, 38. Oh, not 3, 2. Sorry, so chapter 2, verse 36. And this is about Jesus as they brought him as a routine to the, to the temple and Anna, the prophet, was there. 
And there was a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of, of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years and had lived with her husband seven years after her marriage. And then, as a widow of the age of 84, 84, she never left the temple, serving night and day with fasting and prayers. At that very moment, she came up and began to giving thanks to God and continued to speak of Him to all those who were looking for the redemption of Jerusalem. В чудеса сверхъестественные немного осталось веры сегодня у христиан. In the Christian community, um, faith for the supernatural miracles is not, there's not much of it. And if miracles in, in, in life or in the Christian community are not happening, the little miracles are not happening, well, there, there's not much room to believe for greater miracles. If the mir small miracles are not taking place in people's lives, well, then the ability to believe for greater miracles is, is, is difficult. Если мы не являемся свидетелями маленьких Божьих чудес, то у нас не хватает оснований верить на большие чудеса. If we are not witnesses to little or small miracles, then we, are, we don't have a basis or a foundation in our faith to expect greater miracles. If we don't have um, testimonies of healing, of deliverance, then if we don't have that, we don't have faith for something greater. Но спасение человека – это самое большее чудо. But the salvation of a person, that is the greatest miracle. Это запрашивает нашей большой веры. It requires our great faith. Потому что это вечное спасение. Because it's, a, it's a eternal salvation. Uh, по, нескольким, по нескольким причинам пробуждение, спасение людей отсутствует. There are a few reasons why uh, salvation of souls and revival is actually not amongst us. One of the reasons is because this miracle does not happen quickly. We pray, we fast. Мы просим у Бога. We ask God. Мы ожидаем. We expect. И, а это не происходит. But it doesn't happen. И то, что не происходит, and because or because it doesn't happen, uh, опускает опускает нашу веру. Because it doesn't happen, our faith is lowered. It, it lowers our faith. Мы перестаем за это говорить. We stop talking about it. И здесь кроется причина. And here's a reason. Вы сами можете быть свидетелями многих христиан, что они перестали о спасении людей говорить. You yourselves are most likely um, witnesses of Christians who stop talking about salvation of souls. Почему? Why? Если вы посмотрите церкви, где регулярно идет спасение людей, спасение людей, спасение людей, спасение людей, if you, if you were to look at a church where there's constantly salvation of souls, salvation of souls, salvation of souls, every time. When after being in such a service, these very people, they come outside the church building and they continue to talk about it. The whole week they constantly talk about it. They pass out invitations. They get together in home groups. The greatest topic in, on their hearts is people are getting saved. People are getting saved. 
Но где не спасаются? But where people are not getting saved? Не спасаются, не спасаются. They're not getting saved. They're not getting saved. Service after service, they're not getting saved. И все люди об этом перестают говорить. And so people, they stop talking about it. They stop talking. Еще в церкви так мало пастора выбора нет, им надо что-то об этом сказать, но люди только вышли на улицу, все за это забыли. And maybe in church the pastor doesn't really have a choice. He must say something about it in church, but when the people go leave the building, they they do not talk about that. Итак, первая проблема, по какой причине а, люди не спасаются, то есть а, не происходят вещи, потому что они не происходят быстро. And so the first reason why there might not be salvations is because uh, the first reason is they don't happen quickly. Следующая причина, что тогда мы когда просим о спасении людей, нуждаемся спасения, но вместо того, чтобы оно было лучше, встает еще намного хуже. The second reason is after we pray and we ask God and we pray for the salvation of souls, it actually doesn't get better right away, it actually gets worse. Когда стоит хуже, and when it get, gets worse, и опускаются руки, and then your hands, they, they fall to the ground. Oh, and then so Christianity becomes to us like one-sided. Эта женщина была 84 года. This woman was 84 years old. Это старше за мою за мою мать. That's older than 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 my own mother. И эта женщина говорила о спасении. And this woman was talking about salvation. Так так не так не просто говорить о спасении. It you know it's it's not that easy to talk about salvation. В нашей церкви мы имеем такую несломленную, несломленное видение. And you know, in our church we have uh, this, this unbroken, unbreakable vision. Когда мы смотрим на служение Мунтяна в Киеве, when we are watching the ministry of Muntian in Kiev, Есть возможность прокрутить его историю 20 лет тому назад. You know, there's the opportunity to actually look into his history 20 years ago. Когда он покаялся. When he first gave his life to Christ. Из неверующей семьи. He came out of an unchristian family. И он с первого дня начал. Он, он был спасен неверующим, когда он умирал в, в, в госпитале. Он обратился к Богу. Бог, если ты меня спасешь. Я буду тебе служить, что ты не скажешь. And as he was in the hospital dying, six, six months in the hospital. Six months in the hospital, and he was ready to die. He prayed a prayer. He said, "God, if you exist, if you save me, then I will do whatever you want, whatever you tell me, I will do." И Бог его, Бог его исцелил. And God saved him. He healed him. И он, и он то, что пообещал Богу, когда был больной. Выбора у него не было, то делать. And that what he promised God while he was still sick, he has no choice but to um, fulfill that promise. А люди не каялись. But in the beginning, the people were not responding. Nobody was getting saved. Он говорит, что он раздавал тонны пригласительных людей. He's, he testified that he was literally passing out tons of these invitations and brochures. He would take his guitar, go on corners and street corners and whatever, and just invite people and play, play songs. And those people who repented with him, alongside him, um, but later on were a long time perished after that. They burned out. They said, you know what, this is not working. God saved one or two or three, but you're talking about revival? Eh, we're not going to talk about that. It's just not happening. But if we simply look 20 years later, today, what is happening in Kiev in the ministry of Vladimir Montyan? How regularly every service people come and they get saved. Не родственников его, кто мог бы взять его 
с большими титулами под крышу нету. He doesn't have relatives or somebody that, that he's related to that maybe uh, has a high position that could take him under his wing. Maybe like a bishop or, or some kind of cardinal or priest. There's nobody he's related to or, no, or he's close to. It's actually the opposite. Everybody's rejected him. Even you know how churches they have they have a they, they get together and they form like a, a group of churches you know and even all of those unions church unions rejected him they don't want nothing to do with him. Но что породило тысячи людей приходить Господу? But what actually caused thousands of people to continue to come to God? И в эту прошлую пятницу тысячи людей с вечера до шести часов утра в молитве за пробуждение на Украине. And this last Friday they had a night prayer from six, from ten p.m. till six in the morning. Maybe nine. Uh, nine p.m. till six in the morning all night or that whole time there was a thousand people just praying and praying for thousands. Thousands of people praying and praying for revival. Что это? What What is that? Радикальный разговор о спасении. It's the radical conversation about salvation. Он говорит, он говорит, я проповедую сегодня перед тысячами то самое, что когда-то проповедовал перед десятью. And he says the message that I preach today in front of these thousands and thousands of people, it's exactly the same message that I preached 20 years ago when I only had 10 people. Но если бы я угас в разговоре за этих 20 лет, то это не произошло бы. And he says from that 20 years ago, if I would have stopped or slowed down or changed my message, then today, 20 years later, I would not see this harvest. Эта женщина, this woman, тогда, когда в храме был устроен базар, at that time, at that age, where in the temple of God, there was simply a market. Продавали голубей, продавали овец, меняли деньги. Многие, многие хаос происходил. In the temple of God, they would sell doves. You could exchange money. You can buy sheep. Just, it was just a market, market in the house. In the... Uh, наша вера организовывает жизнь. Или жизнь организовывает нашу веру. Either our faith will organize our life, or life will organize your faith. We are living in a very serious time. Either our faith will organize life, the way what we believe, that's, that's what's going to happen. Or life organizes нашу веру. Will organize our faith. И твоя жизнь, твоя вера такая как и твоя жизнь. And then your faith will be as as great or as much as your life is. Ah, но эта женщина при всем, что происходило в храме. But this woman, amongst all the things that were happening in the temple которым и был осужден Христос на смерть. That same temple in which Jesus was condemned to death, 84 года, 84 years old, продолжала говорить о спасении. She continued to talk about salvation. Ничего не происходит. Nothing was happening. Пора уже от адаптироваться под климат, который там есть. You would think by now, 84-year-old woman would adapt to the climate that was in the place. Adjust. She would adjust что, her faith. Что говорят? The, the, that whatever they say. Зачем так радикально? Why be so radical? Ведь ничего не происходит. Can't you see nothing is happening? Ну, 10 лет вы проповедуете об этом, ничего не происходит. Okay, you've been talking about it... Uh, 10 years and nothing's happening? 20 лет ничего не происходит. Okay, 20 years you've been talking about it, nothing's happening. Okay, now 30 years nothing's happening. Эта женщина 84 года. This woman, 84 years old. Не перестает говорить. For 84 years she would not stop talking. О самом большом чуде. About the greatest miracle. О спасении. 
she would talk about salvation. И она говорила о спасении. And she would talk about salvation. Говорила о спасении. She would talk about salvation. Говорила о спасении. She would continue to talk about salvation. Никто не слушал. And nobody was listening. Но пришло время. But there came a time. Когда она была 84 года уже. When she turned 84 years old. И Симеон, священник, который уже вышел из строя. And Simeon, a, a priest or a high priest who was already out of, out of service. Они пришли в храм. They both come to the temple. В котором молились и постились постом день и ночь написано. The temple where they would pray and fast day and night actually says that. И literally. тогда пришел спаситель мира. And that's when the savior of the world came. Иосиф и Мария принесли Иисуса. Joseph and Mary they brought Jesus. И Симеон взял его на руки. Симеон took him in his hands. И сказал: "Ныне, Господи, владыка, отпускаешь раба твоего с миром." And he says, "Now, Lord God, you finally release your your servant with peace." Хотя наконец моей жизни. And even though it's at the end of my life, Но ты дал мне увидеть, but you allowed me to see мою радикальную веру на, через всю мою жизнь. Не было ответа, но ты подтвердил. Throughout my whole life there was no answer, but now there's an answer for my radical faith. И они увидели это. And they saw this salvation. А, как важно для нас понимать, how important it is for us to understand туда, that God will come to such a place where there's a conversation about it. Where people are speaking about it with their mouth. There might not be happening anything. But into nothing they are speaking. Потому что спасение это чудо Божье. Because salvation is a miracle of God. Это не то, что мы можем сделать сами. It's not something we can do on our own. Это то, что нужно, чтобы Бог пришел. It is something that requires for God to come. Но Богу без разницы помочь сильному или бессильному. But for God, it, it doesn't matter whether he's going to help a mighty or he's going to help the weak. Для многих или малых. It doesn't matter to him whether he's going to help one or a single person or a, a multitude of people. Потому Мунтян в Киеве. And so that's why Мунтян in Kiev. Продолжал об этом говорить. He continued to talk about говорить it. Говорить об этом. He talked and talked. Я встречался в моей стране с ведущими проповедниками. I actually had a chance to meet with the leading Pre preachers in my country. And in my country, where there was a, a um, revolution, a reformation, Perestroika, I don't know. Perestroika. Oh, you yeah, guys know they, that they one. Know. Um, that's when all the churches, they, they kind of jumped into evangelism. And 10-15 years go by, and things stopped happening, it didn't go any further. И вещи начали назад и да, да. And the, the, that whole hype began to collapse. Um, or go down. Yeah, no, not no. collapse, but remain the same. Uh, yeah. Or lower. И заключение многих проповедников было следующее. And, um, and, and the, 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 many of the uh, preachers actually came up with their uh, opinion or their verdict. Conclusion. Conclusion. Their conclusion. Что пробуждение закончилось. That revival is now over. Сколько Бог захотел, только спас. As much God as as much as God wanted to save, He saved them. Churches стали побольше. Churches became a little bigger. Церквей стало чуть побольше. There actually became more churches, uh, a little теперь, bit more. Теперь уже мы не в атеистической стране. Now our country is not uh, atheist. Вот atheist. и вот где, где, где то на этом уровне. We're somewhere in this level. We're floating uh, around. Теперь остались колосочки еще где-то подобрать, но основная жатва уже позади. Уже ничего больше не произойдет. And their conclusion is that now we just need to go and uh, gather a few, um, a, a few uh, remaining. remaining people somewhere, but the massive harvest is over. No, пришел Мунтян. But here comes Мунтян, который просто не поверил в эти заключения. Who simply refused to believe in these conclusions. Просто в, в эту атмосферу. He simply refused to believe in this atmosphere. Эта женщина 84 года. This woman, 84 years of age. Отказалась принимать реальность для себя. She rejected, she refused to accept reality for her own. И она говорила о спасении. And she continued to talk about salvation. Говорила о спасении. Talk about salvation. Говорила о спасении. She talked about salvation. 
Если вы посмотрите на Украине, где сейчас пробуждение, if you look in Ukraine where there's a revival, это не там, где люди говорят, что остались колоски. That's not the revival is not happening in those churches where they're talking about we only have a few to go and gather a few more people. А там, где по ночам люди кричали, кричали ныне день спасения. But the revival is taking place in, those, in that place or in that church where people night after night would scream out and they would say, today is the day of revival. The greatest miracle is salvation of a soul. Today the sun rises and sets. And today The water continues to evaporate and then rain back down. Today the gravity, the pull of the earth continues to, to pull stuff down. The wind continues to travel over the dry places and over all the earth. Why do all these things continue the, to occur? Почему это все продолжается жизнь на земле? Why does life con continue on this earth? Эти все движения, они двигаются только за движущей Божьей спасительной любовью. These occurrences take place only because of God's love that moves them. Все эти вещи двигаются за, но не впереди. All of these things are movements because of, or they follow something. They never go before. There is God's uh, love over this earth, a love that saves. All of these things continue to occur on the earth only because God's love continues over this earth. Day replaces day because God loves this earth. And he is waiting for people that are ready to serve his purpose. Чтобы свершилось самое большое чудо, это спасение людей. So that the greatest miracle can take place, and that is the salvation of souls. Потому когда это не случается сразу моментально. And so when salvation of souls doesn't occur right away. Обычно так и никогда и не бывает. Um, usually it, it doesn't happen uh, right никогда away. Никогда пробуждение не приходит внезапно. Usually revival doesn't just come all of a sudden. За каждым пробуждением стоят радикальные люди. For every revival there was always radical people that stood by it. Которые вопреки говорили о спасении. Those people who would speak about salvation in the face of adversity. Тогда, когда ставало все хуже, вместо того, когда они молились, чтобы было лучше. In that time when they were praying for things to become better, things actually start to get worse. Они не остановились. But they would not be stopped. Они молились Господу. They continued to cry out to the Lord. И там происходило пробуждение. And that's where revival began to happen. Грех является причиной рабства. Sin is the cause of slavery. Дьявол является причиной греха. And Satan is the reason for sin. Но для нас, Божьих детей, but for us, God's children, есть одна тайна, there is one secret, в грехе, in sin. Если мы ее знаем, if we know this secret, то дьявол проигрывает. Then Satan loses. Потому что для Божьих детей грех служит тем моментом, когда дети Божьи согрешив, бегут к Богу. Because sin can serve such a purpose that when a, a child of God sins, that's the point when he starts running to God. Не спасенный человек, когда грешит, бежит от Бога. A non-Christian or non-saved person that sins, he usually he runs away from God. Потому дьявол имеет проблему с грехом, что касается детей Божьих. And so Satan has a problem when it comes to sin uh, and Christians. Когда дьявол пытается в 
христианина впихнуть больше в грех, And when Satan attempts to uh, take a Christian and plunge him deeper into sin, он знает, что он толкает его ближе к Богу. He is aware that he's actually pushing this person closer to God. Когда дьявол пытается толкнуть человека в болезнь, when the devil is trying to push a person into sickness, он знает, he is aware что если это христианин, that if this person is a Christian, он толкает его ближе к исцелению. He's actually pushing him closer to healing. Он толкает его ближе к чуду. He is pushing him closer to a miracle. Потому тогда, когда грех порабощает людей, за кого мы молимся. And so, at that moment where, where sin is actually uh, enslaving all those people who we're praying for, как христиане, we as Christians, мы должны знать, we need to know, что ответ очень близко, that the answer is very close, и что слава Божья явится еще больше, and that the glory of God will come even greater, во имя Иисуса, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Эта женщина, Спасающий разговор. So, we're talking about the saving talk. Эта женщина не переставала проповедовать. This woman simply would not stop preaching. Других имен священников мы мало знаем из храма. We, all the other names of the priests, we don't know. We're not aware of those мы names. Не имен здесь. We don't know the names of Levites that were Всех in the temple. All those people who had kind of service in the temple, we don't know them. But we, we know we're made aware of a radical woman. Там, where in the place where there was a completely different atmosphere. But she had a saving talk in her. Day and night she would talk about salvation. She would talk about salvation in a radical way. To who he will reveal his salvation. He will reveal his salvation to those who talk about salvation. Talk about salvation. Preach about salvation. Believe in salvation. And salvation will come. Спасение это чудо от Бога. Salvation is a miracle from God. Не так как мы организуем, насколько мы способны, насколько мы талантны, сколько у нас дипломов. Это не все, все не основное. It's not about how well we can organize, how many diplomas we have, how good we are, how gifted we are. It's not about that. Эта женщина мы не знаем. We are not even aware of education that this woman had. But she, we know that she talked about salvation. She talked about salvation. She talked about salvation. She talked about salvation. And God came and manifested salvation. You know, nobody noticed that the Savior of the world was present there. God came into his own temple. And nobody took notice. Но тот, кто говорил о спасении, but the one who was talking about salvation, все лежит в нападении, в нападении на восстание многих. They recognize that this is the savior of many. Это агнец, который берет грехи мира на себя. This is the Lamb of God who is taking the sins of the world on Himself. Ты увидишь славу Божью. You will see the glory of God. Когда ты будешь говорить о спасении, when you will talk about salvation, Бог придет с неба. God will come from heaven. И явит свое чудо. And He will reveal. He will show his miracle. Not just healing of sickness. Not just deliverance from demons. But he will manifest his glory, his great glory and salvation of souls. Hallelujah. 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 Этот мунчан, о котором мы говорим всего лишь несколько месяцев, был полностью игнорирован и оклеветан, оклеветан через всю страну. This uh, manchan that we're talking about only a few months ago was was um, was talked about in a negative way about the whole media. Every, everybody in the country just bad mouthed him and accused him. Но сегодня он дарит президенту и премьер-министру и всем остальным Библии и и respect person. But today, he is in a position where he's able to hand Bibles out to the president, to the prime minister, to all the big people. Right now, he's walking 
And he's a respectable person. Кто говорит о спасении? The one who talks about salvation. Кто ревнует о спасении людей? The one who cares about salvation of people, who prays about. Эта женщина. Just like this woman. Год за годом проходит. Year after year goes by. Не отступая от храма. She would not uh, quit or leave the temple. Постами молитвами. By fast and, and prayers. язык. And an unbroken tongue. Никто не мог закрыть ей уста. Nobody could shut her mouth. Говорила всем о нем, говорила о спасителе. She talked to everybody about him, about the Savior. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. И Бог пришел. And God came. Спасение это Божье чудо. Salvation is miracle. Of God. It is the greatest miracle. Будем говорить нашей церкви о спасении. And so in our church we're going to talk about salvation. Сотни спасутся. Hundreds will be saved. Тысячи спасутся. Thousands will be saved. Люди будут спасаться. People will be saved. Люди будут спасаться. People will be saved. Во имя Иисуса Христа. In the name of Jesus Christ. Во имя Иисуса Христа. In the name of Jesus Christ. Во имя Иисуса Христа. In the name of Jesus Christ. Эта женщина, может, она сама была в рабстве. Maybe this woman herself physically or herself was in slavery. Но проповедовала о спасении. But she continued to preach about salvation. И Бог пришел. And God came. Во имя Иисуса. In the name of Jesus.